He's not even premier yet, but already François Legault is flexing one of the most powerful political tools at a province's disposal. The CAQ wants to ban people in authority, like police officers and teachers, from wearing religious symbols. And today, Legault said he was ready to override the charter to do it. If we have to use the notwithstanding clause to apply what wants, the majority of Quebecers will do so. Legault's also promising to cut the province's immigration quota next year from 50,000 people to 40,000. That might sit well in Quebec's regions, but not so much in Montreal. The diverse city was an exception to the CAQ's blue wave. Immigrants are welcome. Uh, it's good for um, our society. It's good for our culture. It's good for the workforce. It's good on so many levels. So I will, uh, I will continue to protect the welcoming side of Montreal. Though Quebec's next premier has some polarizing ideas, he says he's ready to work with all Quebecers. I'm a pragmatic guy. Uh, we are a pragmatic uh, party. The businessman turned politician says his top priorities are putting more money back into the pockets of Quebecers, decentralizing health care and opening it up to the private sector, and scrapping school boards for something he calls more efficient. The CAQ is a shift to the right for Quebec politics, though conservative is a relative term. François Legault is no Doug Ford. He's no Andrew Scheer. He's, he's not from, 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 that, uh, uh, from that ideology. So, uh, for example, he has no problem with the carbon tax, which seems to be the big divide between conservatives and others in this country. Certainly not everyone in Quebec supports Legault's policies, but voters had their say when they gave him an overwhelming majority and with that, a four-year mandate. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, Quebec City. And there is another big question in all of this. How will Legault's big win affect the federal political picture? Because things have changed since Justin Trudeau came to power when he faced a generally friendlier situation across the country. Consider this. Less than three short years ago, October 2015, Liberals governed Canada's three largest provinces, B.C., Ontario, and Quebec, and all of Atlantic Canada, too, by the way, with the exception of Newfoundland and Labrador. Today, the political landscape looks dramatically different. B.C. has gone NDP. Manitoba went the other way from left to right. The Liberals have been shattered in both Ontario and Quebec, and even the Atlantic red stronghold is showing at least one crack they could lose New Brunswick to the Progressive Conservatives after that province's razor-thin election result last week. A different political ball game for sure. So how might Trudeau play it? Well, here's our national affairs editor, Chris Hall. So, Chris, what does this big shift mean for the prime minister? Well, Andrew, it means that Justin Trudeau loses a valuable ally at the federal provincial table. And Francois Legault opens up issues that he hasn't had to confront with the provincial premiers on immigration, limiting the number of people into the country and or into Quebec anyway, uh, threatening to expel those who don't learn French within three years, and certainly on dairy. Uh, the support for Legault's CAQ party comes primarily from francophone rural ridings, and they will be demanding that he step up and oppose some of the concessions made in the new NAFTA deal. So I suspect that will be the first place that they clash. And, and Chris, you know, even challenges on another front, I think of the federal opposition parties, does Legault's win open up opportunities for them? Yeah, for the Conservatives, they see a, a, a lot of victories here because CAQ has many of the similar issues, lower taxes on the immigration file. They would agree with that. Lots of Conservatives uh, have been involved in the CAQ campaign. Even for the New Democrats, the, the, the strong showing of Quebec Solidaire with its young supporters, with its stance uh, pro-environment, pro-social justice, they see opportunities here because that party won in ridings that are now held by the NDP in all but two cases, fed, uh, federally in Quebec. So they see some gains potentially here for them as well. It's a different landscape, that's for sure. Our national affairs editor, Chris Hall in Ottawa. Thanks so much. Thanks.